All right, I want to start by breaking down the body circle exercise. Now, this is a really good one to do in the morning when you first wake up. It kind of opens your body up. Um, it's real good to do at night before you go to sleep, prepares your body to sleep better. Um, we start here by doing what's called the mountain pose. And so really, we're just standing here, shoulder, uh, feet shoulder width apart. And you know, even though it's called a mountain, I think of it like a tree. And um, just like a tree has the roots that go down to the ground that you don't see, and the upper part that lifts up towards the sky, you want to imagine from your waist, you know, your legs, the energy pushing down and grounding you through your feet. And you can feel that now, kind of feel your, your toes into the energy flowing down your legs, uh, down into the ground. And then from the waist up, you're kind of lifting. It's kind of got that lifting up energy. And you can imagine like a string from the top of your head lifting up towards the sky, straightening your spine. And while you stay in here, connect to your breathing, relax the muscles in the stomach, relax the shoulders and the chest and the arms. Okay. And we'll start with the first um, circle, which is going to circle our head. And so all we're doing is, is just circling our head as much as we can. And again, you want the greatest range of motion that you can get. And just feel that. Now, I notice as soon as I get here, it's a little uncomfortable because the muscle in my shoulder is a little tight. So when I get to this area, I'll slow down. I won't go quite as far, and I will intentionally relax the muscles in that area. Okay? And, um, and look to just kind of work it. You're kind of just working out the muscles. You know, you're going to find that there's going to be tension sometimes in them, and so you're kind of relaxing them. And, and that's the point of this whole thing is to identify where you have tension and learning how to release it. And so again, you want the greatest range of motion. As you do this, keep your shoulders relaxed. You'll notice them creeping up sometimes. Okay, so just keep relaxing them. You catch them, switch direction. And again, you may notice one going one direction is more comfortable than the others. That's normal. But if you find any, any area that is uncomfortable, it's kind of slow it down, relax. And that's kind of a fun way to do it too, is if you do it really, really slow sometimes, it can be kind of eye-opening. You know, but you take it at your, your own pace that you want to go at. Uh, remember, this is just a breakdown. you got to make this your own. you know, you got your own body, and so different parts of your body are going to be tighter than others. Um, and, and different people are tighter than other people. Um, so this is about making this your own and spending some time with it and getting connected to your body. Uh, so now we move to the shoulders. And when we do this one, we're not using the arms, okay? So we're trying to isolate the shoulder muscles here. And the arms are just kind of loose and, and relaxed. You're not, you know, keeping the neck relaxed as well. Um, circle the shoulders. Okay, switch direction. And again, you can stay here as long as you like. Um, sometimes I'll just stay, I'll spend a while right here because my shoulders get tight. Out of all areas of my body, my shoulders are one of the tighter areas. So, I do that. Now, um, I'm going to kind of show you kind of an in-between movement. Um, where you, you clasp your hands together and you're pushing your chest out and your shoulders back, okay? And um, this is a nice one to put in between those. And then sometimes, again, if you want to take it to another level, you can combine movements. Okay, so you can combine the neck rolls here. And again, this may be uncomfortable for you, but you know it's up to you just to play around this if you'd like to. And um, you can even do the shoulder rolls in it. Then you do the swimmer stretch here. You're just kind of moving the arms around, loosen them up. Okay, and now we we'll circle the arms. And again, this one here, you're not using the shoulders, you're using just the arms and just trying to get the, the widest range of motion. Now, you know, listen, if, if your range of motion is like this, great. There's really no end point here. There's really just where you're at right now and you improving and getting better every day. You know, don't compare yourself against anyone else. Switch direction, um, because that's not what yoga is about. You know, we all have our limitations and we all have our tightnesses in certain parts of our body. So it's just about identifying and working on them um, and opening ourselves up. It feels a lot better. Let's switch direction or switch arms. And again, while you're doing this as well, you want to stay connected to your breathing. Right? Make sure your breathing is even and calm. Uh, you'll find as you do more and more yoga that switch direction that, you know, you put yourself in these weird positions that are a little uncomfortable. And when you do that, your body, you hold your breath, you know, so a lot of yoga really is about putting yourself in these weird positions and relaxing in them. You know, breathing deeper, relaxing, letting go. And I think in that way, it's kind of like it's useful for life, All right? So now we've just done the, the upper body part. And I'm telling you, if you commit to just this, if you just do these at night for a few minutes, um, after a week or two, you're going to notice a tremendous difference in how you feel. Because um, this is the tense area for a lot of people. 
And so as you, as you relax all the stuff in here and open it up, you breathe better, you feel better. And the best part is you kind of, you, you limit the, you know, like sometimes you pull a muscle in your neck or in your shoulder and your back, and it can kind of make you feel bad for a few days. Well, the more you stretch out, the less that's going to happen. Okay. And so that's another reason to do this. So the next one is we're going to circle in the waist. So you might want to spread your legs a little bit further for you here. And all we're going to do is just kind of circle, circle this way. And again, you want the greatest range of motion here. And you can go as quickly or as slowly as you want. Again, the slower you go, it's kind of eye-opening because you'll find out where the tension is, um, which muscles, you know, very specifically are tight. And then you can work to re release them and relax them. And when you do that, then you'll be able to go with the bigger motions and get more of a range of, a range of movement here. Okay. Now switch direction. And again, even, you know, like I said, this is one of my more tighter ones here, but I mean, if you're going like this, it doesn't matter. You know, really the purpose of comfortable yoga, the purpose of this approach is that a lot of times people, when their body becomes uncomfortable or there's pain in their body, um, what they'll do is they will isolate from it. Right? And so they won't, they'll ignore it. They'll, they'll go into denial about it to avoid the pain. It makes sense. Um, but what we're looking to do here is we're looking to find some comfortable ways to interface with our body, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's in pain, so that we can work through it um, and make it more comfortable, okay? So even if you're having discomfort, again, just ease off a little bit, but don't stop, stay connected, do something with it. Um, that's what these, these, this whole philosophy is about. You don't have to be doing crazy yoga moves, just do real basic stuff just to connect to your body, you know, in a very basic way, because that alone will be helpful to you. Um, so now we're gonna go to the knees. And this one here, um, you know, as you do this, again, it doesn't matter how deep you go, um, you might start off kind of kind of high up, not much movement. You know, it might be like this here. Fine. You know, it does not matter. Um, as you practice it, you, you'll find yourself going a little bit deeper. And, um, you know, again, the, the more range of move, movement you can bring to your knees, the better. And again, you keep your, your hands on your knees. Switch direction. And just build up the, those that flexibility in there. You strengthen up the ligaments. Make everything work better, feel better. Okay. And now we end with the ankles. And so it's simply just pull your, and again, with this one here, if you want to hold on to something, it doesn't matter. This isn't really about balance. Once you get better at it, you can make it about balance. You don't do both at the same time, um, but it does not matter. And so you're just moving the ankle around. Switch direction. And again, the widest range of uh, motion that you can get. Super. Okay. You're clicking. Um, which, by the way, I, I've been doing yoga for a long time, and the more yoga I do, um, especially when I really get into it, the more my body starts clicking. <laughs> um, you know, bones, you know, they're snapping and clicking and, and cracking. Uh, so if you hear clicking and clacking as you do this, uh, I, I think that's just a natural part of loosening up the body. You know, so don't, don't be worried about that. Um, switch direction. And again, it just does again, like I said, it's not a balanced thing, so it doesn't matter how high you hold your foot up or if you hold on to something. We're really just trying to move the body around, um, loosen up the joints, you know, get some connection to it. All right, so, so that's it. That's the body circle exercise. And again, you do that in your own time. Um, you can do it that way quickly. You can do it that way slowly. Um, you can mix and match the different things. As I said, I'm a big fan. I'll, I'll be doing this all day long. I'm typically doing this stuff right here. You know, that's to me... Within 10, 15 seconds, I can loosen up really kind of the, the core areas of my body by doing this. Okay, so I turn sideways so you can see. But, um, you know, this is a great way. And on top of that, I'll give you one more little extra thing you can do. Is sometimes you bring your arm back here and you kind of massage your back. And you kind of move it around a little bit. And you flip sides, do the same thing over here. As you're doing the head rolls, you can, you can massage back here. You can just get, get connected to it. Again, we have to go back to the arms, right? So, so I'm telling you, like, like it's all great, but but especially the, the stuff from here on up, if you really commit to that even just to start off with, um, it really opens you up and it makes a huge difference in how you feel. You're tremendous. Your posture improves, uh, your breathing improves, your whole uh, mood improves by doing this, okay? So play with this and practice it, and I'll see you in the next tape.